Hi, welcome to App Inventor's Hour of Code. We're here at the MIT Center for Mobile Learning. I'm Shay. And I'm Emily. Today we're going to show you how to build your first Android app. Today's app is called Talk to Me because, well, it talks to you. It's quite simple. You press a button and the phone speaks a phrase out loud. Welcome to App Inventor. Can you make it say anything? Pretty much. I could have fun with this one. <laughs> OK, let's get started. So click New Project in the upper left. Our first app is called Talk to Me. App Inventor project names can't have spaces, so type in Talk to Me with no spaces. Now you're in the design window, where you can set up the components and the layout of your app. Our app needs a button component, so click on Button, and then drag it over to the viewer, and then drop it. One of the neatest things about App Inventor is that you can see your app on your phone while you're building it. Let's get your phone connected so that you can see the app take shape and test it out as you go. Now, to get your Android phone connected to App Inventor, go up to the Connect menu and choose AI Companion. You'll need to have the App Inventor Companion app on your phone or tablet. So once you've gotten the MIT AI2 Companion app installed, you'll need to start it up on your phone. If you've closed the connection window in App Inventor, click once again on the Connect menu and choose AI Companion. The connection window that pops up shows you a six-character code and a QR code. On the Companion app on your phone, click the button Scan QR Code. If you don't have a camera on your phone, you can just type in the six-character code and then click Connect with Code. Great! Now your phone is connected in real time to App Inventor. You should see the button that we've already added to the app. From now on, all of the changes you make to your app will show up on the phone right away. Notice that the button we've added says text for button 1 on it. Let's change that. Over here on the right is the properties pane. This is where you can set the properties for all of the components in your app. To change the text that shows up on the button, click on text and type in, talk to me. Notice on your connected phone that the button's text changes there. Cool, right? Great. So we only need one more component for this app before we go into the blocks to start programming. Go to Media and drag out a text-to-speech component. Click on it, drag it over to the view, and drop it. You'll notice that it drops down to the bottom under Non-Visible Components. That's all for components. Now that we've set the components for our app, we need to specify what the components should do. For that, we click on Blocks. And now you're in the Blocks Editor. The Blocks Editor is where you click blocks together to set the behavior of your app. We want our app to respond to a button click so go to button 1 and see all of the blocks that go with a button. Choose button1.click and drop it in the work area. Now we have to put in the blocks to tell the app what to do when the button is clicked. Go to the text-to-speech component, click on it, and see all of the blocks that go with text-to-speech. Choose call text-to-speech.speak and drag it over to the when button1.click block. It will fit right inside and you will hear a click when the blocks connect. I love that sound. Now we have one more thing to add before testing the app out. Notice that we have a blank socket here. We have to tell the speak block what to say. To do that, go to the text drawer under built-in blocks. Take a blank text block and bring that over. Click it right into the text-to-speech.speak block. Another satisfying click. Now click on that empty text block and type, congratulations, you've made your first app. OK, you can test the app now. Go to your phone and click the button. Congratulations, you've made your first app. 
If you had any trouble with this tutorial, you can view the written version on our website. That's it? Uh, yeah. Okay, see you later. Wait, get back here. Well, I thought the app would be a little cooler. I can talk to myself. Patience, young one. Now that we know how to use App Inventor, the possibilities are endless. Can we make it respond to shaking? Yeah. Or let the user input their own text? Absolutely. In fact, in our next video, that's just what we're going to do. We'll make it so that when someone shakes the phone, it talks, and also so that the user can put in their own text. Awesome. I can't wait.